So there was Anansi. It was a beautiful day. The sun was shining just as it shines every day in Exeter. And Anansi, there he was with his eight legs. And he had two legs behind his head to relax. And he had five legs holding down the strings of his guitar. And with the last leg, he was strumming. Enjoying a sunny afternoon. such a hurry. Why, brother Anansi, said the man, I'm going to my village at the top of that hill. I'm going in a hurry because tonight we're going to have a feast. Everybody is welcome. We're going to eat curried goat. Oh, Anansi, why don't you come and eat with us? Mmm, said Anansi, curried goat. But it's a long way to the top of the hill. Mmm. Hurried goat. And then he saw another man, and the other man also had a rope over his shoulder. And Anansi said, hey fellow, where are you going in such a hurry? Hey, brother Anansi, said the second man. I am going to my village at the top of that hill. Tonight in my village, we're going to have a big feast. We're going to have fried chicken. Why don't you come with us, Anansi, and eat some fried chicken with us? Oh, said Anansi, fried chicken, delicious, but it's a long way to the top of the hill. Oh, it's a long climb. Well, Anansi thought about it. Should I go for the hurried goat? Should I go for the fried chicken? But it's a long way to climb. Mm, I'm feeling so lazy. Ah, I have an idea. You fellows, you have a rope. Would you tie your ropes around my round belly and take your ropes to the top of your hills, to your villages, and then when the feast begins, you can pull me up and then I can come to your village and eat. And then if it starts in this village first, I'll have my fried chicken first. <laughs> and then I'll go for the curried goat. But if it starts in this village first, I'll have the curried goat first, and then I'll have the fried chicken. <laughs> so they meant it very well, brother Anansi, and they tied the ropes around his middle. And one of those men went up to the fried chicken, is that the fried chicken hill? And one of them went up to the curried goat hill. We'll pull you up when the feast begins, <laughs> said Anansi. Soon I'm going to have my belly full. Mmm. I'm just going to relax on this sunny afternoon. Mm. I got friends run up with my car and gone back to her modern car telling tales of drunkenness and cruelty. Now I'm sitting here just sipping on my Do you 
think started first? The fried chicken feast or the curried goat feast? Both. At the same time. Both at the same time? Yeah. Both feasts started at exactly the same time. And Anansi felt a pull on the rope in both directions. Oh, which way, which way? But he couldn't move. The men at the top of the hill were pulling hard on the rope. Why isn't Anansi coming? So he pulled harder on each end of the rope, each at the top of the hill. Oh no, said Anansi, they're squeezing me tight. Oh no, said Anansi, help me. And Anansi began to rise into the air, hanging like a spider on two ropes. Help me, said Anansi, help me, I'm being squeezed. So they left their ropes and they came down the hill. And slowly Anansi came down to the ground. And when they came, both of them said, Brother Anansi, Brother Anansi, why didn't you come and have curried goat with us? Why didn't you come and have fried chicken with us? And Anansi said, Ah, ah, please help to untie the rope. And they untied the ropes and Anansi said, Look, I changed my mind. I decided to go on a diet. <laughs> Look how slim I am. How my waist has become so small. I just wanted to relax here. I didn't need any curried goat or fried chicken. Look how beautiful and slim I am. And that is why, they say in Jamaica and in West Africa, that is why when you find a spider in the garden, or in your bed, <laughs> you will notice that its waist is very, very, very tiny. Mm. All because Anansi was too greedy. 